It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere, Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. It's not going to be good. Yo, what is up everyone? Kirby Fighter 25 here and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 6. I've been on a train of doing Five Nights at Freddy's videos and this is probably going to be the last one. I don't know. I'm recording this. I did the FNAF 2 one first, then I did the FNAF 3 one yesterday, and now I'm doing this one today. So I'm recording them out of order but up uploading them at different times. Okay. I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. You got it, buddy. I'm going to turn this down slightly. I think that should be good, I don't know. We're gonna see. Cha-ching! I don't have enough money for it. Let's play test the ball pit. So good, I love that. Okay. Let's go. Damn it. Ow. <laughs> oh, that doesn't count. Okay. 
Once again, gonna turn it down just a little. Excuse me, excuse the technical difficulties, just making sure everything's good. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of... My mind's in the... All right now, so... Sponsorship offer? Uh, I'm good. I'm gonna try to reject all of them. Unless I get one that's like really good. I'm trying to think of all the ones that I can get and I might start accepting them later. But not right now. That's good. Let's keep playing the duck pawn. Ah, same again. I thought I was going to get two 500s, but I guess they're randomized. I keep getting the same amount every single time. Without fail. Every time, man. <laughs> Just keep giving me them performance. Performance? You get what I mean. No, oh, I did worse. I guess I did want something different, so I kind of asked for that one. On, man. We need some more than 500s. Ooh. Let me... What is there here? Midnight Motorist. Pretty Maze. Gumball Swivel Hands. They're all unavailable. I'll think about that one. I want Candy Cadet, but... Help me down there dancing in the corner. Really adds the atmosphere. Gumball Swivel Hands is a lot cheaper than Candy Cadet. It provides the same amount of bonus revenue, it provides a little bit of entertainment, and I can get one of the arcade machines. Yeah, I can just get Gumball Swivel Hands in this, because this provides full entertainment. This, and so it'll be a five entertainment and four revenue, which will be more than Candy Cadet. Yeah. Yeah, and plus Gumball Swivel Hands is just something that sits in the corner somewhere. There he is. I'll, should I clean and polish something? I'll clean and polish the duck pond. Checking how my frames are doing. Ow. <laughs> Ouch. that I could go down and get the thing, but I'm not going to. Not this time, anyway.
There it is. I saw it down there. Goal! How much did I get for that? That was nice. You know, I don't like the pond there, so I'm gonna go back and get the other thing. This. Brought even more enter entertainment. I guess I'm finished. Oh. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, onto other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. I thought someone was at my door, that's why I was I'm doing my headphone. There's nothing gonna happen on the first night, so I'm just gonna skip to the next blueprint mode, so I'll see you there. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Sorry, I gotta do this. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. I'm gonna forfeit the payment. Bye bye. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. I'm aware of this. How many visitors we got? 23. Poggers. Food revenue. Let's go. No new lawsuits, because there ain't no animatronics. I put safety equipment. Mark down. Nah. Deluxe speaker set that boosts the revenue or the not the revenue the atmosphere. Is Candy Cadet still in good condition? Nah. <sighs> Liability risk. Candy Cadet, my guy, my G. Okay. Uh, what do I even want? Oh, 
by the stage. I'll take it. Sure. Let's play. Is it supposed to be going this slow? Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be going this slow. into a giant corner. Hi. I don't know who you are. Oh no. I'm not speedy anymore either. magnetism anymore either. No, I'm not going to be able to make it. Aww. Damn. That's hard. Alright, so we got performance things. Play the duck pond again. Poggers? Sounds like FNAF world music almost. curtain stage. That's an accident waiting to happen, okay. Ladder tower. Carnival hoops, that'll be nice. That's, this is what I wanted, the riding rockets. Lemonade and fruit punch clown, jukebox. Medical station, security doors. Rockstar animatronics. My boy, Foxy. Okay, so we got the stage lights. We got the deluxe speakers. No animatronics to put there yet. We'll get something, I promise. Uh, I need to play some more games. I'll be right back. Okay. I went and did some car racing. Now I can buy carnival hoops and play those for a little while. Actually... Carnival hoops back here, and then put the Midnight Motorist Arcade there, because, yeah. so good for a, for a minute there. I was doing great. I want to try that again. And then if I get enough money, maybe I can do the thing. Oh! 
The s what? I got 20! I got 20, excuse me. Wow, I just got cheated. I got 20 on that one. Wow. I might as well use the rest of my clay tokens. And considering this car thing seems to give me the most money. I'm just gonna do that. Then I think once I'm done with this, I'll end it, because... Are we going fast, boys? No, that was an impenetrable wall of cars. Come on. Wow. With all my love and affection. I got like 2590. I got like 2590 on the other one. Do I have enough for the rocket riders? I don't think I do. I think I need like 490. 450. What are some of the other things I could get here? I don't know, dude. I can just keep spamming the car thing. That seems to work. I don't know, man. Okay. I went and I did it again, and I got the actual lower ending just so I could see if I can get some more money. There we go. Then I'll give this a try, and I will actually end the episode, because I've been going for longer than I've been wanting to. Take the strap so there's no risk, and... I'll polish it. I'm the greatest at this game. Again, I'm getting Foxy Fighters flashbacks. What did I get hit by? What did I get hit by? Uh, tell me, tell me what I got hit by. You're not just gonna cheat me like that. I want you to tell me what I got hit by. I need to go back on the footage and look at what I got hit by, because I swear there was no projectile there and there was no pizza there. I should have been able to just slip right through. Why do I have a risk of three? What here is risky? Is this risky? Are you risky? Are you Squidward? Are you Squidward? <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for me. If you want me to come back to this game, I will. 
but oh my god. God. I don't even know what to say other than just God. I actually have more fun playing this than I thought I would, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to see more of my uploads. Be sure to do the same thing for all of my friends' channels. Go check out Team84. Maybe have a look at my Twitch. We both have Twitches, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more. Peace out, everybody.